drum overheads. Um, need a little bit of compression. Let's see what they sound like without anything. One thing I do like about how the drums were tuned is that it sounds, it's got a nice mid-range punch to it. And I kind of want to accentuate that with how I mix it. So let me just find a nice little part. good part. So I'm going to just loop this section, throw on some compression. You know, another thing too that can happen uh, based on how you mic stuff you can see all these snare hits. If you kind of zoom out, you can see the snare hits are like the highest, you know, it's the loudest instrument um, in that room in, in that miking position. So if you want to kind of change the bias to the compressor, you can use like an L2, which is notoriously known as the snare killer because as soon as you clamp it down, it basically kills the snare. So you basically just want to set it to where it kills those snare hits, but it doesn't really mess with the cymbals much. And what that'll do is when you go to compress it now, the compressor is not really seeing those snare hits. It's going to kind of ignore those. So that allows us to really focus on the cymbals instead of the, the drums. just a little bit to kind of glue it together. And filter out some of that low end on there. And then I'm gonna bring up some of that some of that chest low end. Just a little bit of that. 